In the previous video, we have taught you how to draw a jet engine from scratch. This time, we will teach you how to spin this jet engine smoothly from a stationary to idling position using Microsoft PowerPoint and Excel. If you are new to this channel, just hit the subscribe button for free. Using Microsoft Excel, we will compute for the rotational speed for each of the 60 slides. If we are to let the jet engine spin at 6,000 degrees per second, in one minute, that would take 100 degrees per second, per second as the acceleration rate, meaning the increase in speed is intervals of 100 degrees per second. We use the modulo operator to compute for the rotational displacement within a 360 degree range. We choose 360 as the divisor so that the remainder will always be less than that amount. We duplicate one slide nine times to have a total of 10. Then we rename each of the second names from zero to nine for the first 10 slides. We'll duplicate the 10 slides 6 times to have a total of 60 of them. This time, we rename the names of the seconds starting from the 11th slide until the 60th. Right now, let us indicate the rotational position of the jet engine based on how fast it rotated in one second for each slide. In this mode, we are using Excel and PowerPoint simultaneously.
it takes some time to indicate the rotational position for each of the 60 slides as we're animating here for one minute. We use color coding in Microsoft Excel to make things easier to look for. After we have indicated the rotational position on the right slide, let's apply it to the rotational position of the jet engine using its z-axis, which indicates a counterclockwise rotation. We intend to spin the jet engine in a counterclockwise manner. So take advantage of this PowerPoint feature to make things easier to manipulate in animating an object. Returning to Microsoft Excel, let's indicate the slide number for each of those rotational positions so that it will be easier to find out which slide would ever go wrong. Right now, we're indicating the rotational speed for each passing second in Microsoft PowerPoint.
to have essentially no rotational gap from one slide to another, we set the transition time to 0 0.01 second. I mean, 1 over 100 of a second. And each animation for the jet engine to spin should only last 99 over 100 of a second or 0 0.99 so that each slide would exactly last for a second. Since there is an interval increase of 100 degrees per second for each of the slides, make it easier. Let's multiply the second indicator by 100. So if you are at 30 seconds, your rate of spinning should be 3000 degrees per second. We should ensure that the rotational direction should always be counterclockwise. Let us now preview the slideshow to last exactly for one minute. Shall be leaving the cattle lines. Guests reading may switch on your individual reading lights.
looking at the swirl that is rotating counterclockwise in a very fast manner you can see that there is no anomaly it's just turning clockwise in the opposite direction I mean counterclockwise and it's getting faster by the second isn't that amazing that you can animate the jet engine to spin very fast in just one minute just like the real thing